Our top story now, CMS district leaders are discussing the idea of letting students back into the classroom for more in-person instruction days. Some of the options being debated could double a child's time on campus. While this is one step towards normal life, some are asking if the district is ready for it. WCNC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez joins us now with a closer look at the timeline. Tanya. Yeah, there's lots of conversations that are taking place right now about how many kids and how often kids should be in schools like the one behind me. We know that that school board meets next week and the board members I spoke to said they are fully expecting to vote. So I can see why parents get so antsy about let's just go back to school. My kids are not doing well. Why do you keep telling me we'll find out in another two weeks, another two weeks? Change to the in-person schedule could soon be coming for CMS families. District leaders right now say they are, quote, evaluating options for increasing the frequency of in-person learning. One option would increase middle and high school kids like Gina Navarrete's son from a one week in, two weeks out rotation to in-person twice a week. According to sources in CMS, elementary could go from two days to four. I don't think CMS is necessarily quite ready. I would prefer if we would have waited for all the teachers to have been vaccinated. Uh, and I would have preferred if CMS would have done better guidelines. We heard that same concern from an eighth grade teacher. And we're still in a pandemic, regardless of whether numbers are trending downward. There's a reason they're trending downward and to change behaviors. CMS is taking steps toward making teachers and staff more comfortable, hosting several mass vaccination clinics in the last week. Moving really quickly, maybe too quickly. Teachers in the buildings are going to be worn thin and simply going to be told to go ahead and do it. Navarrete says there's no easy answers. She hopes whatever decision the board does make doesn't make things more stressful for our kids than they already are. I always try to remind people our kids are watching. How we react, they're watching. Okay, so here's how this would go. The CMS leaders would make a recommendation to the board. The board would then have to vote yes or no, and then they would have to decide on an actual timeline for when that change would fall into place. Again, the board meeting is expected to take place on Tuesday with a possible vote happening that same night. Reporting live in Steel Creek, I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte.